Nigeria is a land of adversity. It's also a land of what? Opportunity. I can tell you that it's a land of adversity. It's also a land of opportunity. You need to be wise. Okay, so that's why um, Psalm 119, verse 113 say, Order my steps, Lord. Let me know when to move and let me know when to stay. If you are supposed to be at that high mountain and you are still on the ground, you will not see glory. You will not experience transfiguration. Okay, so Abraham left. Some other things we need to leave. There are some things we must leave too. If you must experience transfiguration, there are other things you must leave. There are some traditions you must leave if you must experience transfiguration. If you are from a place where they still birth a corpse and give the water to the wife, the wife to drink to prove her innocence. If you are a woman, you are from that place and they say you must do it, don't do it. Don't do that nonsense. Too. If you wash a corpse, the water that is coming from the corpse, it does not contain um, normal germs in this world. It contains demonic germs. And you drink water that has jam. What will happen to you? Won't you die? Then you will die. They will say it's because she is guilty. You don't know you just drank poison. If you are from a place where they go to shrine to swear, don't swear. Jesus say, you shall not swear by anything. Let your ears be what? And your no be... If they are not okay with your yes, they should do what? They should go to court. Don't go and swear and say, hey, some, some of you are doing this, hey, Father, I had to do it to prove my innocence. You don't prove your innocence by going to the shrine to swear. Somebody can be guilty and still swear. Nothing will happen to the person. If you are from a tradition where they say, first daughter marry before every other guest. So you have children. Maybe your third daughter is the one people are coming for to seek a hand in marriage. But because the tradition says, first daughter must marry. Uh, please leave that tradition. Leave that. If you don't leave that tradition, I will come and give your daughter out in marriage, the one that people are having suit of for. Leave that tradition. Do you know how many people's marriage have been stopped because of such things? August meeting tradition. If August meeting means that you will go and just show new clothes and whose husband has bought new car, and that's it. Nothing else. Nothing else. Leave that tradition. Or else people should change our God's meeting to when women will go and discuss about how to develop their what? Their village. That means in every August meeting, you must take a project that will benefit the village. Abraham left tradition. There are some traditions we must leave. There are some customs, conventions. Then some of us need to leave what I call false expectations and hope. It's killing many Christians. I have counseled and counseled, almost tired of counseling. Leave false expectations. Leave false interpretation of Bible. When I don't go here, stop interpreting Bible literally. I have been telling you this. Jesus fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. He did not command anybody to go and do the same. Old. Stop following the Bible literally. So that when somebody tells you that when you do this, God will do this for you. Be very careful. Then some of us need to leave resentment and anger and bitterness. If you must experience the transfiguration of joy, you must leave resentment. You must leave anger. You must leave bitterness. It doesn't matter who has offended you. For your own good, for your own transfiguration, leave that place of resentment. Leave that place of anger. Leave that place of bitterness. God is calling to something better and something bigger. Don't feel stuck. Abraham was 75 years. Don't ever feel too old or too stuck to start something good and something new. Don't. It was not a young man God called you. It was an old man at retirement age. Some of us are stuck. I'm talking to those of you who are stuck right now. You are stuck in bitterness, unforgiveness, anger, resentment, and all of that. Yes, I know you were hurt by somebody you did not even do anything to. Yes. But you are punishing yourself more when you are in bitterness. So I pray for you. I pray for all of us here. May God grant us the grace to hear the voice that calls us when we should leave or the voice that tells us when we should stay and change in the name of Jesus Christ. And as the Lord Jesus was transfigured, 
on the mountain. I pray for transfiguration for you. May your marriage be transfigured. May your life be transfigured. May your finances be transfigured. May your family be transfigured. May your careers be transfigured. May your businesses be transfigured. May you never be stagnant in life in the name of Jesus Christ. I say, may you never be stagnant in life in the name of Jesus Christ. Whether you live or you stay, may the grace you carry overcome the environmental limitations and bring you to the point of transfiguration through Jesus Christ, our Lord. To watch full videos and get notifications for new ones, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. God bless you.